WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This 11 m update. We've got a sea of green out there. All the U.S. indices that we track are trading to the upside. All the sectors, with the exception of the real estate sector, which is flat, and the utility sector down 22 pennies, are also trading to the upside. Dow's up about 407 points, S&P 67, NASDAQ 100, 355, nearly 2%, over 2% for the Russell. 47 points there, over 3% for the trannies. I'm sorry, for the semis. 163 points the upside. Tr trannies are up 200 bucks, about one and three tenths percent. Gold's up nine dollars. Silver's up a buck, four percent move there. Lights we crude is up a dollar twenty six, one and seven tenths. Natural gas up seven pennies. Another 30 year treasury is down one point, one and a half points, basically printed out at 123.03. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart will begin upper left hand side. We can see on this rally we closed above for now we're there's a third consecutive session above the top of its profile. Now any moves to the downside should if it's just a counter trend move to the downside would find support at the 5312 level. Price should go target is 0.786 retracement area. That's at 5593. We close above that. We're headed back to the all time highs. If we take a look at spot volatility. It is trading below. It closed below yesterday. Yesterday, the 50-day uh, exponential moving average that was at seven. It's at 17.08 right now. Close below yesterday. We're trading below yesterday's low. That's a signal, to Stevie, and to you that price may be targeting a slower Bollinger Band. If you're wondering how can the S&P 500 rally to new all-time highs, well, if the spot VIX starts setting down to the uh, 1056 level, that will be the trigger. If we take a look at the NQ out here. The NQ is dealing with resistance, top of its daily profile, 19480. We're at 19494 right now. 14, uh, 19,596 to the 0.618 retracement level. That becomes an area that you'd like to see price, if you're bullish, price to get above. We take a look at the U.S. dollar index. Just a consolidation with inside its daily profile. The range there between 102.22 and 103.26. Gold continues to find resistance at the bottom of its swing point. The swing point that I'm referring to is from back on the trading session of July 17th. It is finding support at a sauce letter and change line. That is not shown here, but perhaps during the Trader's Z show, we'll take a look at that. Silver, you can see the nice move here in silver, just a consolidation with inside its profile. Price target to the upside would be 29.35. We take a look at late sweet crude, trading right up into the top of its profile. So that's resistance at 77.04. We're trading at 77.05. We close above that. You can see the descending trend line resistance. Natural gas taking on its swing point from the trading session of July 22nd. It'd be a positive to close above two dollars and thirty cents and uh, folks stay tuned for the trader Z show and if you're off to start your thursday have a terrific one thanks for joining us we we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon in the world of trading